Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Tapshi Tech and Reviews. So today it will be a technical video. I'm not sure if you can hear this sound. Uh, let me take the mic closer. Hopefully you can hear that sound. Uh, that's a fan making the noise, you uh, know, unintended noise. Uh, something is wrong with the fan actually, not sure exactly what. So today exactly we'll be seeing that we will try to open this. So let's uh, see exactly that and see if we can fix it. And also it will be a little tear down which we'll be doing. So it's GP65, uh, MSI GP65. So yeah, let's get in the video without wasting any time. Please enjoy. I'm not sure if you can hear this. There's a lot of fan noise coming out of this laptop. Uh, it's MSI GP65. Not sure it started behaving this way from last two days. So what we'll do is let's uh, try to open this and see if there's any problem with the fan. If there is something that is you know uh, interfering the fan or uh, the fan itself is uh, spoiled. So let's gain the video, open this, uh, tear down this laptop and uh, you know, take out the fan and see if we can repair it ourselves or if it requires a replacement. I'll uh, try to show. I'll try to show how this sounds uh, by taking the mic closer. Hope you can hear that sound, uh, that noisy fan sound. So let's see. So let's open this. Uh, there are about 11 screws which you need to remove, and um, then the outer body will be coming out. And then let's see what's the problem with this right uh, fan. That's where the sound is coming from. So let's see that. So there are actually 12 screws. There's one screw behind the seal. Need to remove that as well. Then the thing to do is uh, to remove the locks, which is there on all the part. Uh, which is there on all the sides you can use something like this uh, some tool like this you will get it online you can search for mobile tools and you will get this and with this what you can do is you need to just snap it and remove the locks on all these sides and it should be open so this way you can open all these sides same way you need to do on the back side as well so if you do this it should come out something like this and then you can just lift and open this and you should see all the parts here and our target is to remove this one this fans for that we need to remove this we need to remove this heat sinks all this part should come together so we need to remove few screws and then it should come out so this is the hard disk here is the RAM, just for your information. It's a 32 GB RAM. One RAM is here, 16 GB, and the other is behind, um, below that itself. So this is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth module. This is the SSD, 512 GB. If you want to, you know, anytime change it, you can change it to 1 TB or something. Right now, 512 is sufficient. This is 1 TB HDD hard disk. So yeah, let's try to remove these screws. Need to figure out which are the screws I need to remove. So yeah, let's see that. So first thing first, in, let's remove this battery. Only thing is this battery is not outside, it's inside. But rest of the things are same. You can remove it easily. And you can replace it uh, replace it as well anytime if you want to replace it. If the battery is draining out really fast, then you can replace this battery. So it's very simple. 
Uh, in the old uh, laptops, you might have seen you could take out this battery from the outside itself, but on the new laptop, it's something like this. You'll have to take it from inside. Other things are same. I'm removing these screws, main heat heatsink screws. This will not come out. It will just uh, unlock it. It's a spring screw. And then, so I've removed few few screws, uh, four screws from this. Um, no heatsink part. Uh, two screws on each fan. One is over here. One is over here. And there's one here, and the other one is over here. And also, you can. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear the sound. So that's what uh, I keep hearing with the same sound. Need to figure out like why the sound is coming. Not sure if it's uh, because of uh, faulty fan or it's getting uh, interfered by something. Something is touching this when this is rotating. Figure out, I'll just show you the sound uh, by taking the mic closer. I do the same thing over here. There is no sound here. But here, but here there is sound. A little difficult task to remove this. I put a lot of uh, thermal paste. I'm using this as well to you know melt it, but it's not working. Let me try for some time. So finally, after putting a little force and using this, I was able to remove this. I need to remove this connection from here, both sides. And then you can take this thing out. So one is done. I'll do the same thing for the other side as well. And finally, we removed it. So this is how it is. The thermal paste over here, and you can see the thermal paste here as well. And all these parts which they have put. So, what we'll do is let's uh, I'll try to test the, uh, if the fan is the problem or if there is some kind of interference. So, somehow I managed to remove the fan out. So, here's the fan, there were little three screws which I had to remove. One was here, one is here, one uh, the other one was here. Uh, this is how the fan looks like. Let me show you what I think the problem is. So now it's proper. Earlier it was all you know touching this board. So because of it, you because of this, you are able to hear this sound. Not sure if pulling this fan a little outside will fix this problem. Not sure about it. I'll pull the fan a little out. Hopefully this should solve the problem I believe. Or else I'll note down this number and try to change the fan later on. Try to buy a similar, uh, you know, fan look. There are two exhausts in this. One is this side, and the other one is this side. So I'll try to find a similar one. Let's try to pull this thing a little out and uh, put everything back, and see if this solves the issue. Also a little thing which I did is try to make a space for this one by pulling this metallic surface a little upwards by using this screwdriver. Not sure if this will cause any problem but 
this should solve the issue probably try to give uh, as much space as possible for this fan to rotate without any noise so let's put everything back i also have this uh, thermal paste i'll try to remove everything from here and put this thing so yeah i'll not show you that exactly so you'll see that um, in the time lapse video i will not be showing that uh, in detail so yeah let's see So now if you see there is no noise coming, hopefully this should solve the issue and I believe this is a CPU fan because this is a, so this is a graphics card and this is a processor so I believe this is a CPU fan, hopefully this should solve the issue and moreover I don't have any uh, you know, tool to put this thermal paste properly so uh, I may not put this uh, using all those things I'll be using my bare hands for this um, so uh, it's not necessary you guys have to do that you can use uh, any injector if you have to inject it properly in egg shape I'll be doing with my hand hopefully that, sh that should not cause any issue so yeah let's put everything back now it will be a time lapse guys so yeah So everything is done, hopefully now it should work, not sure. So let's put this battery back. And put this back case, then put all the screws and you know test it, hopefully it should work. So everything is logged, now it's time to put all the screws back. So now it's time for testing it. So it's turning on, let's see if this solves the fan issue. I hope the windows is not reset. The fan issue is not resolved. So the issue is something else. The next day. So this is the next day. Um, I wanted to see, like, figure out what is it, what is causing this issue. So I removed the fan out. I've removed everything. Took the fan out and connected it from outside itself. So I figured out that. The issue is something like it is touching the base over here because of which this issue is happening. So what you have to do is you have to play with this, these three lines and see which works best. You can push it to you know bring this uh, fan a little above from the base. So you can push this, this or this based on where it is touching. So mine was touching somewhere here. So I just pushed this one a little inside. And uh, because of which 
this keeps on uh, you know it keeps on coming up and down I have to do something like this so what I'm thinking is I'm thinking of putting a uh, some kind of a little thing so that it remains stiff over here it's always pushed outside so, so that is the issue now what we'll do is we'll uh, put everything back and see if this time it solves the issue or not And now if you see the noise has come down much better if I take the mic closer there is a little sound but and maybe I need to adjust it a little more but I'm already tired I cannot open it again and again and the sound has come down really low so it's fine it's not irritating I won't get any headaches because of this so this uh, this is also a good solution instead of replacing the whole fan so yeah that's a solution for this hope you all liked it I didn't work the way I wanted it to work so a replacement for this fan uh, it's very uh, difficult to find a similar fan uh, for this MSI laptops and if it's available then it's very costly they're charging about 4000 5000 rupees so that's all in this video guys hope you all liked it if you liked it please do the like button subscribe comment and if there's any query post in the comment section uh, let's catch you in the next video until then see you bye